Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Jurassic Park. And today it's the time to build an enclosure, a habitat, or whatever you want to call it, for a bird. So I have been really busy making this area the bird island. It's an island because I'm it's a river around it. I, I'm calling it an island. I even made it go right over there too. So that's what I've been doing. I've been leveling out this place with a, except for this hill. I want to do something with it. But we do, I think we can get some, I hope for three or four enclosures in here. I hope so. The bird exhibits should not... I don't know, but we we will make them higher than usual because the birds, they're gonna fly, they need some high trees and yeah. So the first one we're gonna start with is actually the pterodon. Because that's a medium sized bird. So if we make one for those, we need we know what we need to do maybe when we do the quetzal or the smaller ones. So yeah. So I think we're gonna go with the pterodon exhibit in that corner here. Somewhere. Somewhere around here. I don't know what. Those are like 16, 16, 32, 32 should be enough, like, I don't know, if we go, follow the curve, go down, go there, we should have a path here, so we should put it out a little bit, but I don't really know yet, I don't know how big we need it actually either, but I think we can solve it. So we have some glass panes, iron bars for the top of the thing so they don't fly out, and the stone bricks and some jungle wood. So I'm gonna mix those two. So yeah. Hope that's gonna work out. So I'm gonna go and measure out things and let's see what we can take this. Okay, I think we have a layout for this one. I think this is gonna be a good size. The terrain is not that big. I think they're gonna fit here and able to fly. So let's see how high we're gonna have it. First thing we maybe should see what three we're gonna have. Well, I'm gonna go and test stuff out and yeah, be right back. Okay, so this is how far I have got. So we do have, I'm not good at walking in this thing, but we do have something. It looks boring when it's not fully decorated inside and all that stuff, but I don't know. The first one I did like that. I framed the window. Let's do this. <laughs> Frame that. Then put some more stones above, but don't really like that looks. So. Oh. I thought about it and maybe have the framed like I do, but maybe decorated with some filleting with some leaves. That could be a thing, maybe. So yeah, so we have this, what is it, 11 high? I think it is. Yeah, I think so. so I don't really know how that's gonna go, but 
think we're gonna plant some trees that we want. I think I want... Uh, where do we have it? Do we have it here somewhere? Uh, there we do. That one in that corner. Somewhere around that corner. I think it would be good. Then plant some of those guys. Like here somewhere in the middle. Like three or something. Three of them I think would be good. I think so. So, do, so then we have one more bigger one and three of them the taller ones and maybe we can make some seating areas for them I don't know so it's really bare here so that sounds funny but whatever so maybe do a branch out just one from one of on every three of them in different positions and maybe just put some leaves on there or something maybe that's my plan so far still need to put finish the frames so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna plant some trees this is what I came up with the leaves in the background and some of them popping out and hanging down and going down down the wall, down the window I think that looks good enough should just take it out a little bit more this way but so I think I'm pretty pleased with that looks better than the stone up there it looks better than just having the leaves there. It's just plain and nothing that interesting. And this one, it's maybe not the prettiest, but there's something happening at least. Wrong button. So I think that's good for that. I don't know if I'm going to do it all around or just at the windows. I think for now... Yes, the windows. So next step, putting in some trees and see how high they are going to be. And we are ready to put in the Terrans in their new home. And there it is. After a lot of working on it, it has, it has whoop. It has been really fun to do this one. It has challenged me in another way. I don't know how, but it's like the other ones, but higher. But I did have fun doing this. You can see some of the trees are poking out, but let's just add some extra stuff. And like I showed last time, we did that, then we did make it a little bit higher so I put those three trunks thingy where the other ones are but just one snip in so you get that more not flat here and then I just put some random vines on the walls to just Make it less grey, I guess. <laughs> but, let's go look at it. So, here we are. In this angle, you see, from here you can see it's not totally flat. That's what I was going to. And we got this. First, I thought of building the trees on my own, but... I didn't have that, so I, most of the trees, I think, didn't went through the ceiling right away. That one is half out, and I just accepted that, but some of them went way through, so I need to chop them down and try again, so, 
And I did this myself. Made some branches kind of thing likey. So I did that on all trees because trees without branches so the birds can see it is. I want to see if they actually gonna sit on them or not. I don't know. So I decorated it with some grass and all random stuff and some vines on the trees too. But I don't know if I'm gonna go go through them and maybe take away some of them that didn't turn out that good. Like those. For example, didn't really like that one. So we have daytime. Let's bring out the first one. You are small, but we can fix that. Come on, grow for me. And one more. I have 10 growth serums for each of them. And let's put you down there and do the same to you. You are noisy. Come on. Come on. You're gonna be there. I don't know if this is too much. They're growing kind of big. That was close. They are kind of noisy, but dinosaurs are noisy, I think. <laughs> well, dude, you cannot fly there. I have been seeing them trying to fly, but I think it's tight in some spaces where they just get stuck between stuff, but now I don't really care because they're trying to fly, they're walking around, they're doing their stuff. One of them accidentally died, like, I think it was the same, he stood in the block when he grew and then suffocated, so he did that again and this time he did not have that much life left, so we have three of them, but I think three is pretty good enough, actually. You see, he's he's trying to fly. Ah. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm happy with this. I I am. Maybe not the prettiest building, but I don't care, because it's here you're gonna look. Here it looks pretty good. I'm happy with this and I'm excited to do more of the flying later, but we need to need to even it out. We need to do some of the fish thing, some of the flying here and maybe do some of that. I need to need to find more of the packy stuff or go out and look for one so we can have we can fill out that exhibit now where the enclosures were before. So we can fill that out again. So yeah. And then we need to do the aquarium for the fish. And we need to find a place where we can put all the scary, scary ones like the tags and all that. This is a very good place, but there's so much hills and mountains in the way. I'm planning to... all this water we're gonna cover up. We're gonna still make this an island. We're gonna make something here so it's still some river going through it or something. I don't know if we're gonna maybe have this area as it and 
I don't know. I don't really know yet. I want this more for the herbivores. What I can think about that. I thought hills and that would be good when I started here. It, and it is. I like like that hill is really good here because it surrounds this. But if you want to make a bigger area to build on, you have a lot of stuff to remove. But we have to deal with that later. But for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.